Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Rifle Esports EU Field Final Qualifiers. I'm Spooks, and I'm no longer uh, joined by my lovely co-caster in show. No, tonight, for the last series that I'm on, you see me together with Digital Bacon. How are you, my buddy? I am doing good here today. Just coming on into the second half, going to be seeing... Which final teams are going to make, be making it on through? Because I'm looking at bracket right now here, Spooks, and we already have four teams confirmed, which is madness that half the spots are already gone. Yes, indeed. And those teams, uh, we've seen two of them. One we didn't see on stream. It's plan B that we didn't see on stream. But the other ones we've seen, AW3 and two sims and one furry, the beautiful name. And onto the loser's bracket. We've already got a team through on there as well with beacon.gg. And right now we're looking into a match that is going to be incredibly exciting. Probably the most close match with a little bit more of a known team names with Damage Inc. and You Choose Pesce. So yeah, when you look at You Choose Pesce, of course, everyone knows these guys are Boris Hyder, Dead Monster, and of course, Silas. Uh, I think we've got Dead Monster off today and Silas stepping on in. Don't quote me on that. And over on Damage Inc. Now, this is a very interesting roster of both Frosty and Iovella. I know quite a lot coming in from the Swiss scene here, Spooks. But Onko, for me, is a new name. So... I'm going to be very excited because you you know when you can look at two teammates, you already know the caliber they're at and what they're bringing to the pitch. But then you've got this third newcomer and what they can do is going to be so exciting because you're you're expecting that same level. But for those two lads, Frosty and Ira Vella, who are good mates, for them bringing this newcomer as such to the team is going to be very exciting. Is it, as we say that, let's get this excitement on the way. Boris, Dead Monster and Hyder for you choose Peche and of course Frosty, Onko and Ira Vela over on Damage Inc. Straight away Burris looking to get a shot on target. It gets hit away by the defenders though, but a good start coming out from the huge pesticide and there's that monster goal. It's open and they make sure to get the first goal on target. <laughs> It was a beautiful little setup there by Hyder. So much pressure being put on. If you're the defense, you've got to go up and face that off and get it off to the side if you can. But you're being forced into a very difficult challenge. And realistically, Damage Inc., who are coming into this as the like lesser seeded team, are in such a difficult position there. Still, it's not a team you can rule out instantly. Straight away, they're looking to get at least a tiny bit of back onto the offense, but it's not working just yet, because, I mean, you're playing against three names that I think uh, almost anyone in the community knows quite well with you, Spes. It was just a strong side in general. Haven't you choose Peche since, you know, and including BJB, um on the previous splits they've made it to regionals twice now so that's just showing the caliber right there back when it was both 24 teams in a regional and of course 32 back and forth so to make it to two different regional events is very impressive it definitely is but you're still looking at a team that is they still need to finish the job off and the uh... Mm -hmm. Right now, it's still only a one goal game, so anything can be possible as long as Damage Inc. can keep it to the one goal. And now it's an attempt coming out. It's a good shot, but Frosty can't get it past the defender. And I think Damage Inc. is going to be looking to make sure that this does not get further than that one goal game either. To get that offense going. Gets a demo as well. Murray's looking to get the second touch. Gets it into the midfield, but no one expected it. Not even his own teammates. No, have a look at Frosty here. A spectacular lad coming in from Slovenia. He is absolutely bringing the hurt, bringing the damage. Arivella over towards Onko into the center, but Hyde is going to be able to cut that out. And you can see how high he gets. Going for the second touch. Does not get it down. Boris can't get it on target, but dead monster. One, two, three. It's an onslaught. And finally, that wall has been broken. It's just what sadly not we expect to see happening, but it's just the way it's happening. They just got onto the backboard and got that offense to just stick around and within seconds that ball's in the back of the net and now Damage Inc. has to come back from two. Probably the worst thing they wanted to happen. A pass. Coming out that monster gets it onto the hider side. Hyder looks for a big huge clear onto the orange side is not enough again. 
Forest tries to get it himself. Now, Hyder has to follow it up, gets it into the target, but it's not enough again. But it's still the same offensive prowess that Juju's Passes seem to be having right now. Well, Frosty is looking for a counter with zero boost. He almost gets it on the target as well. Yeah, and Onko there just running it into his opponent's forces a 50-50, but not in his favor. They've got to be careful here, damaging. I can see they've got a lot of fans in chat here, Spooks, and, well, they don't want to leave them disappointed. Two minutes left on the clock. Very, very much within the realm possibility to turn this around. But you choose Peche, their attacks just seem so much more convincing. You were talking? You were saying? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Boris just is fully disagreeing with you. He doesn't want them to even have a shot of coming back. Getting the 3-0 lead, 1 minute and 50 seconds left, and yes, I agree. I think Damage Inc. is a team that can do it, but if Yuji Spess is just playing like this right now, then what are you gonna do? Boris hits it high, looking for the flip reset, gets it past one. Can he get past the second one? No, it's not enough, but still, the offensive side of Yuji Spess is just so strong that if you can't deal with it, what can you really do anymore? What can you do indeed, especially with all of this pressure that's building up? Finally, a breakaway opportunity, but Frosty has to get this turned in. And unfortunately, the pinch with the wall just sends it across the net. Dead Monster brings the ball under the realm of his control. And that is a bit of a sloppy scramble in front of the damaged net. Dead Monster not able to win anything there, but at this point, they're in the driving seat, you choose. They're continuously just batting the ball away, making sure that the ball doesn't reach their back 25%. Yes, it is, and it's a good shot comes out. It's just on the backboard just to get some sustained offense going, but it's just not enough. Once again, you just pass is holding on quite easily. Ruffler. Trying to get it into the middle again, but it's not enough. Revla is... It's just non-stop the same. It's just <laughs> not enough just yet. You're looking at a team that has the possibilities, the capabilities to do it. It's just not enough non-stop. And Hyder tries to do it solo. Get, does get the boost. And with 30 seconds left, I don't see much hope to get back into this game. And the next couple of games are going to be... Just to see how much can you adapt to it. How much indeed. We'll say it's been a while since we've seen a goal come on in from you two so perhaps damage inc finally working it out and could bode well for the future but it's a best of five this is sort of like the one gimme match you can give away if they drop a second that gets dangerous i think i've, I've said it in the in the game of in the series before with the aw3 matchup are if you give up an uh oh, if you give up a uh, game like that, where it's just like, uh, my goodness, I just completely lost for a second because it's, <laughs> it's been a lot. It's been a long day. I'm sorry, Bacon. It's if, been if, a yeah, lot. no, if you give up a match without getting a goal, you've got to think about the mental aspect of things. <laughs> the actual fortitude of a team like this right now, when you're coming in for damage, ink, going, we've just been completely shut out in that game. How do we turn this around? And straight up, I'm looking for an opening goal. You know, the first minute, I personally need damage in to score here just to bring up some hope for them to be able to then go, on, right, we've got this series. It's not a problem. Of course, after that, the reverse sweep is always there. That's always an option. But it comes down to the players having that confidence in themselves. 20 seconds gone by. And once again, it's you choose Peche on the attack. Finally, a good opportunity for the breakaway, but Deb Monster cuts that on out. The follow-up coming through from Iravella is absolutely fantastic, but that far post is covered. It is, and now it's back onto the offense for you. Just best aside, that monster is there. He hits it on target, and just like that, once again, 1-0 lead for you two's best. All right, am I allowed to put my hood up and hide away here, Spooks? Because... That's the one thing we did not want to see, wasn't it? That early goal. Oh, 42 seconds. I mean, you could be much earlier, but still, all things considered, you choose Peche picking this up where they left it. Oh, four goals with no response now. 
and damage ink they can't let this slip away any further especially with dead monster on attack and he's just stolen away 100 boost just gone like that but they do get back on the counter attack the Rafella is not enough to get the double touch and once again Pesce just takes it away can they do it again where it looks good for damage ink no it gets high with no one to follow up Rafella is there to get it away but I think Damage Inc. needs to watch out with how much Yuji Spencer is just allowing them to come onto the offense and then just boom, counter attacks. Non stop true. It's a very interesting play style and quite frankly, one that would not work at ROCS, but here you can just see there's a lot of unneeded distance between the players where they're not close enough to shadow each other and back each other up properly. Oh. And of course, they're not far enough away oh. to give opportunities to each Fight. other. But talk about opportunities. This, this is just spectacular from Hyder. <laughs> I, I just had a gut feeling. I saw him coming up. I saw that first touch. I saw it go over the backboard. I'm sorry, Bacon, I'm going to throw you. But I just had a gut feeling. And seeing it happening like that, my goodness, what a goal. And that's the 2 0 lead. And I don't want to say it, but Damage Inc. needs to do some half. Hefty changing to get back into this because this is now a passing play. No, it doesn't work out, but that monster gets the second touch. There is the trio. We do have to remember as well, just, just to let it slip on out there. You choose Pesce, probably coming in as the second seed to all this. I'm just going to say that right now. They are a very powerful side. Damage Inc. already coming through with an upset win back in round one. And that lower bracket could be very, very tasty for them. They've got more cats waiting down there if they can't take down this infamous Italian side. And I would favor them in that matchup in the lower bracket. But of course, learn from this because... I'm going to be a realist now here, Spooks. I think Damage Inc. drop, but they have so much they can gain from this game. you still got just two minutes and ten seconds in this single game. You can just work out ways to work around your opponents, and they are doing it. They're building up. This series is not done yet, but they've got to be more convinced, and they've got to have more confidence in themselves to get these passing plays out more regularly because that was the glimmer that was the excitement we've needed from this team it's finally some offensive pressure going on from them it's a little bit shaky but it's enough to do at least something barry is looking to get it himself it doesn't work out and with three of one you expect you just best to just ease out this game but that's something you cannot do against the damage inside because you saw they do get a goal and well, one occasional goal can maybe lead to two, and two can maybe lead to three, and at that point you're back. This ball's into the center. Hyder looking for a double touch. Can he get it? No, this time he can't get the nutty play. And it's in a counter attack coming out from Damage Inc. with a huge clear, but it's not enough again. And I think, like you said, Damage Inc. might need to look into the next match. I think this, together with the AW3 match, was probably the matchups we expect to go the way they are going right now. And then you just have to look for the players into that next match where you are more than likely the ones that are should be winning indeed you are all down into the corner with dead monster slowing things down not got really any boost so just has to hand it on over but it's all about the presence the continuous pressure being applied in attack which is giving you choose so much strength here and generally when you're looking at the difference in the level between these two teams, it's understandable why Damage Inc. is struggling against this. They're not used to sides that can near enough choke them, that can just bring it across the net so threateningly. And of course, starving away their 100s in the back lines. 30 seconds left to go. Damage Inc. on out of this game completely yet, but they need that glimmer now. They do, and I think probably the worst thing for Damage Inc. is that Barist has barely over 100 points. He has not really been into this game, and finally a shot coming out, it gets hit away once again. 10 seconds left, this game is done. 
Going on to the third one, maybe a third, fourth one. There we go, Murray stays. What were you talking about? How many points did you say, Spooks? Because I just got another hundred. <laughs> he has been fairly quiet. All been dead monster and hide and Notice dead monster, the start of the attack. The first man to go deep downfield and basically just strike fear into damage ink. After that, you see... Ida just waiting, being basically a sly fox in the box, ready to put it away. But talk about putting it away. 4-1 to you choose Peche. Looking to just sweep their way through into tomorrow. And well, 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 that's going to give you tons of confidence if you're you choose Peche. On the opposite end, we are starting to see... The lads over on Damage Inc. pick it up. Whilst it's not enough just yet to maybe counter that 3-0 sweep, it's a possibility. They're starting to make us ask questions. And, you know, you're, you're, you're moving the slider a little bit across, you know. You're getting your way out from 100% down into lower brackets, like 95%. Who knows? Get that opening goal. Get a second, you know. If Damage Inc. move 2-0 up, they can move that slider more in their favor. Do you expect it to happen, especially with that monster, to bring it into the middle, but Arista trying to follow it up. It's not enough, but again, they're dangerous. Hyder just shoots it high. Can this go in? It... Yeah, it drops in. <laughs> what, was it? What? what was I talking about, that slider? Ooh. Yep. Unfortunate. I don't know what Onko was doing in there. He was just jiving, vibing. The rest of the team, though, are uh, looking at him like he's a bit silly, I think. You trust in your man on the goal line to be able to get it, and... Arguments could be made. Someone else could have quite easily got up into that. You know, there was, it was 18 seconds, but... At the end of the day, someone's got to make that call. You need someone to step up and take more of a captain role in this team, because right now, they don't have that clear communication, it feels like. Maybe here a counter attack coming out, it's not enough and he needed to touch it because Baris would have had it anyway, otherwise. A good doink coming out, that monster shoots on target, it's a bit too high, can he follow it up himself? No, this shot is too weak and not on target, but Hyder is right there, that monster is already up. Once again, he gets blocked onto the side this time. It's not done yet, like I said in the game one, it's still only one goal, you can still come back with Hyder and Baris to look into team up, almost works out. Not enough, that monster brings it into the center once again, sustaining the offense. Hyder gets it onto the midfield once again, gets blocked this time around, and it seems to have slowed down a tiny bit. A bit of patience, they need the boost, they need that time and space. It's still not enough, and Hyder looking to take a bit of control, looking to get it onto the offense once again, see what they can do. And I think probably the worst thing for Damage Inc. is seeing that monster sticking around on the backboard of the Damage Inc. side. Oh. Have a quick little look at this though. Nice little connection in the passes. Hyder cuts it out. Looking for the waterfall and down. And he is blocked on out in the corner. Boris just trying to buy time. And he's done it so well. Dead monster now taken on over. It's all about giving time to his teammates to then go get boost. Notice how Hyder can get back in. But everyone's down in that corner. Damage Inc. need to punish this. Sort of win a 50-50 as they get it away. But right now, this is a great idea coming out from Frost. They follow on through. Blocked out by Boris. Hyder looking for Boris once again. Who's getting high? Throws the shot. Looking for top left. But it is well saved by Damage Inc. The damage still coming on through. However, from you choose Peche. But I Ravella going to be able to get that to no. safety. And Byron Bear breathing room. Dead monster. High of target. I think you're gonna be starting to see this a little bit more. I think if this is the huge best side, we're gonna see tomorrow and from here on out, or at least these players be this comfortable. They're just having fun now. They're, they're pre-jumping each other as well. And for Damage Inc, mm. it might sound a bit rude, but that's how comfortable they are right now. They're literally just pre-jumping each other, trying to get some good passing plays going that you don't see coming a lot of times. But Rist, taking a tiny bit of control, tries to get a bit of Rivia does get, get help from it and it gets cleared all the way to the other side. It just seems that Yuji Pesce has gone with the side of, well, we're just gonna do whatever we want. We're up anyway and maybe this is a second. There we go. That monster makes it too. And 
I don't want to say it, but I think this might be done for Damage Inc. And they are moving moving on to the loser side. Mm -hmm. I completely agree with you. And let's be honest with the fans at home. I've known both Frosty and Aravella for like two years now. This is not their best performance. When you're a player, you're always looking to make your next performance your best. You always look to improve. And this just was not it. It could be a difference in playstyle because you choose are a very aggressive team. And so Damage Inc. just might struggle with that a little bit. I think they definitely do. I think this offensive uh, prowess and just annoying plays and it's just annoying to play against the demo coming out and the bump and the Burris shot and it's 3-0. It's with 1 minute 15 left. It's definitely done. But like you say, it's just also a bit of a mismatch of playstyles. Damage Inc. that is a bit more known to just mm. be all around, try to be just everywhere and do everything they can in their powers to just be all around perfect against a team that's just saying like, yeah, we don't care what you're gonna do, we're just gonna do whatever we want on offense. It's yeah, just and a I'm bit looking of a mismatch. We do plan to see them again in the lower bracket, I do believe, so his fingers crossed they should have a little bit of time to be able to work on that. And I do think in the lower bracket they will come back stronger. But for now, 50 seconds left to go. I know I shouldn't be calling them out, but I just cannot see a way back. But what I can see is damage using these final 40 seconds to really mold themselves for the future. They've really picked up their defense. It's, it's their attacks, their attempts at breaking away, which is just leaving the door on open for you choose. Right here, Hyder. He's just got full control of that whole situation and teammates behind. You choose a plain damage like a fiddle. Definitely are. They are not scared to do anything. I think it's just a bit saddening to see for the damage ink side. They just need to make sure their shoulders don't go down. The hat needs to keep up. You need to keep it up. And I think they will. I don't think they mind at all. I think they'll just move on to the next one. Maybe this becomes a fourth. Maybe it doesn't, but it doesn't matter really. You, you move on to the next series and just focus on that. You ignore this. You know this isn't your best showcase. You will do better no. in the next one, and that's probably the most important thing. Yep. Well, fourth goal coming on in for Boris, and it's just to buff the stats. He was already having a good day alongside his two teammates. <laughs> it's... Um... Expected result. I think we probably would have expected a little bit more from Damage Inc. But for you, just pass it. You move on. You've qualified. You've done your job. You've done it perfectly. Now it's just move on to the next one and see it tomorrow. But for you, Damage Inc., you move down against More Cats Gaming. Now it's time to showcase why you even got to this point. Why you are even allowed to play against you, just pass it. Show what you can do down there and show what you're capable of. And I can't wait to see what they're capable of. Guys, we're going to head on over to a break. When we get back from that uh, break, I'm looking at it right now. We are going to be looking at Gold Dalians versus Cagliari, Calcio Exceed. Welcome to I the I mean, club. you can... You, so is, is that right? Um, um, I'm, I'm, both, we, we don't know. Uh, we apologize to the. You say the name. You apologize to the Italians for your wording and move on. I've been calling them Exceed, so yeah. we hope it's fine. <laughs> and we hope that that match is going to be damn fine because we'll be back after this break, guys. We'll see you on the opposite side. <laughs> 